Before you begin, make sure you have read and understand the operator's manual, installation instructions, and all other safety instructions before setting up and using this equipment. Improper installation, adjustment, alteration service, or maintenance can cause property damage, injury, or death. Any alterations to this equipment will void the warranty and may cause a dangerous condition. Installation of the Pop Clean Elite Series poppers should be performed by qualified service personnel and the fire suppression system, if equipped, must be charged and activated by an ANSEL certified representative. Read and understand the instruction manual and all other safety instructions for the unit before using this equipment. Once your popper is unpacked and installed, you are now ready to load your first bag and box. Place one 35 pound bag and box in the pump carriage on the top shelf with the nozzle facing forward. Pull the bag nozzle out of the box and remove the plastic dust cap. Next, connect the bag and box connector to the bag nozzle by sliding in on the bag nozzle and press firmly on the center of the connector as shown. You are now ready to calibrate your oil level indicator. First, turn on the main power switch and press the display select until display reads oil level cal. Press oil level calibration to set it at 0%. Verify that the display reads oil level cal, cal 0% done. If correct, press display select. Next, load the second full bag and box of oil onto the pump carriage on the bottom shelf. Press the oil level calibration to set it at 100%. Verify that the display reads oil level cal, cal 100% done. If correct, press the display select to accept the 100%. You have now calibrated the oil level. Press the display select button until you are at the idle screen. Now that your oil level is set, you will need to calibrate the pump. Make sure the kettle is completely cool before calibration and taking volume measurements. First, press display select until you reach the oil pump cow prompt and then remove the oil funnel on top of the kettle. Next, hold a measuring cup under the oil delivery tube in the popper. Next, press dispense oil and the pump will dispense oil for 10 seconds. Make sure you hold the measuring cup under the delivery tube until the oil is completely finished coming out. After the pump is finished, press display select. If the oil amount shown on the screen matches what is in the measuring cup, press display select to accept. If the oil volumes do not match, press the up arrow to increase the oil volume or press the down arrow to decrease the oil volume. Once the volumes match, press display select to accept. Finally, press display select until machine is in idle mode. Your oil pump is now calibrated. Now that your oil level and pump are calibrated, you are ready to pop some popcorn. Turn power off to save settings and reinstall the oil funnel. First, turn on the main power switch if the popper is not already on. Next, select your recipe by selecting butterfly popcorn, salt flavoring, and select your popcorn load size. Then you will need to turn on the rest of the machine. Turn on the equipment in the following order. Oil master, popcorn crisper, filter system, kettle heat. When you turn on the kettle heat, it will automatically turn on the popcorn agitator. Next, you need to prepare and measure your popcorn and Flavacol salt.
When the light next to the load corn oil lights up, your kettle is ready. Load in your corn and Flavicol, then press dispense oil. Your popcorn will start popping and when the dump kettle light illuminates, it is time to dump the kettle. If you are done cooking popcorn, press the kettle heat button to turn off the kettle. Otherwise, repeat the process when the load corn oil lights up. Take your popcorn scoop and gently move the popcorn around to separate out any unpopped kernels. Now you are ready to scoop and serve up delicious popcorn.